Hi everyone! I'm Hannah, the museum educator here at the Transcona Museum. Welcome to the first day of the last week of Craft With Us, and this week is Animal Week. So today we will be making egg carton caterpillars. So for this craft, you will need um, an egg carton, uh, scissors to cut up the egg carton. Uh, we're going to be cutting it in half and only using one side. Uh, you'll need some googly eyes, a couple pipe cleaners, uh, whatever color you'd like. I'm going to be using black today. And also three colors of whatever kind or whatever color paint you want. I'm going to be using um, red paint, green, and yellow paint. Uh, and you'll also need three paint brushes, one for each color, depending on whatever colors you choose. And you'll need glue. So let's get started. So I've got my uh, paper towel set up here just so I don't get any paint on the table, so I would suggest you do the same unless you have a surface that you can uh, get paint on. So I already have um, my half uh, egg carton pre-cut, uh, just because it does take a little bit of arm strength and a bit of uh, hacking away at like the corners here to kind of get this um, just the actual egg holders rather than all of the kind of outside surrounding bits so um, that's why I did it beforehand so obviously before you start you have to cut it into this shape here and then uh, you will uh, grab your paints whichever colors you choose um, and basically just start painting your caterpillar so each uh, egg holder is going to be a different color so I'm gonna start with green That'll be my caterpillar's head color. So you might have to do a couple coats just because the material of the egg carton, the cardboard uh, can be a little bit hard to paint on depending on uh, what colors you're using. If you're using darker colors, you might not have to do multiple coats, but if you're using lighter colors, you probably will have to, um, which is fine. Um, so, just finish up this head here. Just make sure all your spots are covered. Um, and you can paint kind of the in between part as well. Okay, so keep your paintbrush because uh, now we're going to move on to the second uh, egg holder, which will be whatever color you want. I'm going to do yellow. Basically, we're going to have alternating colors. As you can see, the yellow is a bit more um, opaque than the green, so we'll probably have to do a couple coats of the yellow. So there are a lot of different types of caterpillars found in Winnipeg and uh, Transcona. Um, the most, the one you are probably most familiar with and probably most annoyed with are canker worms. Um, we are all very familiar with canker worms in the parts of the summer and the fall where they get all over your car if it's parked on the street or all over your house. They're very sticky and gross, but <laughs> yeah, there are two different types of canker worms in Winnipeg. There's the spring canker worm and the fall canker worm. So this is why tree um, banding is typically done in, in both of the seasons. All right. So I've done my first coat of the yellow and I'm just going to go over it again um, just to get a bit darker color. But also it's alright if you kind of mix the paints um, when you get to the in-between parts. It's not a big deal. You won't see it that much. Alright. 
Okay, so I'm gonna move on to red next. Um, so both of these cankerworm species, the fall and the spring, will uh, will attack most deciduous trees, uh, and they have a preference for elm and uh, maple trees. So the uh, female moths uh, of the fall cankerworms will lay their eggs after the first severe autumn frost. So that'll be coming up sooner than later, especially with how the weather's, how cold the weather has been in Winnipeg these past couple days. It's definitely feeling as if summer is on its way out, which it is, which is sad, because that means no more craft with us until next summer. But you can always look back on these videos and do crafts. We also have um, a lot of other craft videos, like craft with us, uh, like last year's craft with us videos and other crafting videos that we've done on our YouTube, on our Facebook, Instagram. So you just kind of have to do scroll down a bit to find some of the older videos if you're interested in that during the fall and winter when we're not doing craft with us lives okay so i've done my red now we're moving back to the green Um, the spring cankerworm moths lay their eggs uh, after the first spring thaw. And speaking of moths, we have a lot of moths in our collection. Um, we have a collection of butterflies and moths with over, I think it's like 20,000 specimens. It's something outrageous. Um, it, we, uh, it's by collect the collection is from uh, Stephen Quelch, who was a principal here in Transcona, who uh, collected all of these um, different butterfly and moth specimens. So if you're interested in seeing that, we have some on display currently at the museum, so definitely stop by to check that out. And you're going to have to do touch-ups along the way just because you'll probably mix up the colors a bit, which is okay, not a big deal. Okay, so I've done green, yellow, red, green, so I'm back to yellow. Um, the female moths of both the spring and fall uh, canker worm uh, species are wingless and must climb up the trunk of their host trees um, and that's kind of how they get caught in the, in the sticky bands that are put on trees. Um, the young cankerworm uh, larvae are appear as like green inchworms so you've definitely you've probably seen those before if you live in Winnipeg and Transcona. You, good chance you have. Um, they move in like a looping fashion by lifting the front of their bodies forward and then pulling the rear of their bodies forward. Um, and the mature canker worms move in a similar way, but they are much larger, um, being up to 2.5 centimeters uh, in, in length. green paint in there but that's all right okay I'm just gonna add another layer of the yellow so to cover up some of that green okay. 
There's also a ton of different types of caterpillars, like some you might see are pretty fuzzy, uh, some can be really quite big. Okay, so I'll do my last color, which will be red. To tell the difference between a um, fall and a spring cankerworm, the uh, fall cankerworm is green with a black stripe down its back, and the oops, the spring cankerworm is uh, dark brown. So now that we've painted all of our egg holders, uh, you can do any touch-ups that you might need if you got some of the paint mixed, which I definitely did, but that's alright, it's going to happen. So once, uh, whichever end you want the head to be at, make sure that your egg holder is completely dry before we move on to the next step. So the, the front one that I painted first is pretty much dry, so I'm good to go. All right, so now that we have our painted egg carton, uh, you are going to take the scissors that you cut the egg carton with and just poke two holes at the top of, or I guess the bottom of what would be the egg carton. And this is gonna be where your antenna come out or your pipe cleaners. So take your pipe cleaner and cut it to whatever length you want your antenna to be. So I'm just gonna cut this short pipe cleaner in half. And then you're basically just going to uh, pop them in the holes that you just created and kind of curl them over so they have the look of antenna. So you can see, there we go. So we've got our antenna and the last step is uh, going to be to glue on uh, your two googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you could just use white paper, draw a black dot on it and glue them on. That's, that's what I um, did for this one. I had two foam pieces, but if you have googly eyes, definitely use those. Um, so I've got my two googly eyes. I'm just going to throw some liquid glue on the back and stick them on the head of my caterpillar. You'll have to hold them just for a couple seconds to make sure that they stay. You might have to add some glue around the corners just to make sure it's filled in. Okay, got one on. And got my other one on. I'm just gonna wipe away some of the excess glue. So here we have our egg carton caterpillar. Just make sure it dries um, so you don't get paint everywhere and your eye, your googly eyes don't come off. 
well, thank you so much for uh, joining me today and helping me make this uh, egg carton caterpillar. Um, join us on Wednesday, we'll be making a paper plate flamingo, and on Friday we'll be making a bison hand painting. Uh, do remember that on Friday um, the live will be taking place at 10 a.m. rather than 2 p.m., so keep that in mind. Uh, and thank you for joining me on this last Monday of Craft With Us. Have a great day!